I'm doing lace with a half Milano edge. Now I hear you all say, but you can't use the, rib the lace carriage with the ribber. Well, no, technically not, but you can. <laughs> it's just tedious. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, so I've got my camera set, I've got my, my ribber set up, my, my lace to knit. I'm using pattern 152. It has columns of stockinette stitches, just makes life a little bit easier. So you set your ribber stitches onto those edges where the columns of vertical stitches, vertical stockinette falls. And you um, are just using brother lace. Um, it can be done on a brother. I don't know if it can be done on a singer, okay, um, because of the way the singer lace carriage works. Just the usual setup for the ribber um, on half Milano. Here you can see I've got tension four on the machine and tension six on the ribber. So what I'm going to do is I've just knit my two rows. So to use the lace carriage, I drop the ribber. All right, drop it down one notch. Then I'm gonna grab my, excuse the camera work, I'm trying to do this one handed. Lace carriage. Knit my lace. stitch just popped up there you just got to watch that so make sure that the lace carriage is all the way off the end of the bed put the ribber up bring your main carriage across picking up the ribber now with your half Milano you want to make sure that you are knitting in the first pass on the ribber and passing on the way back so then knit that one Knit it back. All right. Drop your ribber. And now you can knit the lace carriage again. And that's how you knit a half Milano edge on a brother machine with a ribber using the lace carriage, which you normally cannot do. Um, I was inspired by a friend who showed me this um, scarf she wanted replicated and it had a Milano edge and I was like oh my god I can't do that and I've just worked out how to do it it's a bit tedious um, and you probably may not want to do it all the time but it is definitely doable okay